Hey guys, super pumped. I'm doing my first kiln opening video here. I'm calling it kiln opening 000 because it's my pre first kiln opening really. So what I did is I made a bunch of glaze sample tiles. When I got my kiln and my wheel, the guy had just over 30 glazes. So I needed to test them all out. I only recognized a couple of them from back when I used to make pottery when I was 14, 15. So I was super excited to try them all out. And before I glazed any of my, I actually have all my bisque ware right over here. So I did my test bisque firing and then my real bisque firing for all my other stuff. Before I glaze anything, I wanted to find out what are all these glazes. So I kind of made an art project of making my glaze sample tiles. I made a bunch of really nice little one inch by three inch glaze tiles. And then I spent all of the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, just standing in the kitchen, mixing glazes and glazing them and it was a lot of work and I'm super pumped to see the results of my first glaze firing in this kiln and find out what they all look like and share it with you guys. So thank you for watching and check it out. It's actually been a couple hours since that last part of the video but we've got down to 147 here. Ideally we probably want to be a little bit lower, probably want to be closer to 100 degrees but you know too excited for this shit. So, <laughs> there they are. Looks like a couple of them did fall over. I have them on these little tiny, little tiny feet I just made like a hundred of. <laughs> and they were not very stable, but I was determined to just get this stuff fired, get it in here last night. And so, it's called it. And, off all right yeah so i got some of the kiln wash from the shelf on it but overall i mean i can't be mad i was really excited about these and to see all these colors and i mean you know maybe i can sand some of that off of there or something but really the main purpose here is to be able to see what all my glazes look like on each clay body so i better keep track of which stand this is going to yeah, so it's definitely hot, but I mean, I can hold it in my hand. So, I should be able to take them out. And if these crack a little bit, it won't be a big deal. Oh man, that's a beautiful color, honestly. Which one is this? I have marked each of the little feet with writing. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Oh, nutmeg. Cool. I like nutmeg. I like that one more than I thought I would. Let me see if this one's also nutmeg. Oh, yep, there it is. This is what it looks like on B Mix. That's what it looks like on Speckled Buff. Definitely better. In fact, I'm going to put these on the floor over here. And make sure this is going to come off. There we go. Some of them are kind of sticking to their feet, but they should all pop off fairly easily as long as the glaze didn't drip on them. I'm going to keep track of. Bam, that's the nutmegs. Find the Oregon brown one in here. This might be it. Oh no, this one's cedar. It's kind of cool. Better find my nutmegs first. Keep everything together. Yep, there it is, nutmeg. Barely legible. <laughs> Seems like the love it on the Oregon brown. I just love Oregon brown in general, honestly. I like dark chocolatey brown colors. So there's nutmeg on, let me turn the little white part over there, on three different clay colors. I'm honestly going to just start taking these out so we can see them and go to the next one. I'll deal with organizing them later. Oh, this one didn't stick. Just set them all down next to there thing so I can just there here kind of wish I had better lighting in here but I'm grateful for it is oh this one's way more stuck yeah unfortunate but could have been worse that one's pretty neat the speckled buff speckles through any glaze that's over it so that's what that effect going on there is. I'm really curious what this one is. Off 
off-white. That's the off-white. I like it. I'll be using that one. Oh, that one didn't stick either. I think these three right here are all Merlot. Look at that wine color. Oh, the light just flicked, shut off there. I opened the garage slightly just before this. It's nighttime right now, but open it slightly just before this to get the little overhead light there to turn on and I might have to in fact I'll be right back all right continuing oh, that's neat I'm just gonna look what all the colors are later I'm not gonna hold you guys up look have me look at every single one here trying to read what they are so I'm just gonna kind of set them over here and show them briefly black of some type. I actually do want to know what this one is real quick. Coal. Yep, looks just like coal. <laughs> That's kind of neat. It's very rough. It's kind of like a rough matte texture. I've actually never used a Cone 5 glaze that wasn't glossy, I don't think. So I'm excited to experiment with that. Let's see. Looks like these are the satin clear sort of ones here. I think I took one of those out already. Might be that one or that one. Oh, here it is. Those are there. That's off-white, I'm sure. Those are my satins. Satin clear. This looks like it might be floating blue, possibly. I'm very excited about that one. I used to use all the time back when I was 14, whatever. Some of them kind of bent a little bit. See, it's a little bit arced. Cool. Or my other floating blues. I think I'll pick these two. It's hard to tell. They're very dark right now. I wonder if they'll lighten up as they pull off. Oh, yeah. I like that. These must be the other cedar, which I don't remember where I. Oh, I don't think I took that one out. That was the one I was looking at. It's kind of a cool kind of orangey brown color. It looks a lot brighter in the video than it does in person. This might be the other one. Yep, that's was on the other side of the kiln. That's the speckled buff cedar. Sort of a little bit of a see-through blue there. Personally, I'm not as much a fan of those kind of clearish color ones. I like a lot of natural tones and texture. Those look like all the same color. Check it out real quick. It is. I'll figure it out later. It's a lot of them, I'm noticing the names kind of set into the clay a little bit. I didn't carve them deep enough. There's more. So, I'm going to have to look closely later and find out what they all are. Anyways, on to the next shelf. I'm gonna take that out real quick. There it is. Layer two here. Get some more. Varying some cooler colors here. It looks like this might be the weather bronze. Pretty excited to check that out. This one I had the hardest time glazing. It just did not want to take glaze for some reason. I think that's the sea green. I just know because it was a speckled buff. And one side of it did not want to get glaze on it, so that must be it. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if these are the other two, sea green, because they look kind of similar. Whew. Hoping the feet come off of all these. Should just take some light pressure tapping. Let's check out the weathered bronze. Wow. Only ever used it in the past on B Mix, which is this one here. It's kind of cool. So it's cool seeing it on these other two colors. 
looks very interesting on the dark clay body. I think I'm gonna I keep saying I'm just gonna start pulling them out and then I just have to look at every single one. I'll have to look more closely at them later. Right now I really just want to show you guys and well, I really want to look at all of them, but I want to show you guys and keep this video fairly short. But after this, I'll go through and take a good detailed look over all of my pieces here. I have been worked a 12 hour day today and I was just thinking about this all day. Now it's honestly past my bedtime because I get up at five in the morning and yet here I am. I just I wouldn't be able to sleep if I didn't open this tonight. <laughs> Might also be a clear that just got a little bit too cloudy. I like it. I think the clears, if they're too thick on there, tend to get. Oh, that's kind of cool. They tend to get a little bit cloudy. I which one this one is. Celadon Green. It's a rich, deep celadon color. <clears throat> yep. Hmm. I wonder if that's the... No, I don't know what that is. I had... I think I did about... I think I did exactly 30 glazes, 3 of each, so 90 of these little tabs on this one. And... There was a lot of work making them by hand. I sponged them all down to root, smooth the edges after I made them and they were dry. Um, and then I made all these little feet to sit them on and mixed up 30 glazes and dipped them all. Looks like Moe's joining us now. Very, they're pretty hot still. I shouldn't say very hot. I'm trying to keep them all coordinated with their little feet so that I can figure out what they all are by name. And oh my god, this came out so different. Oh, those aren't the same. I'm just setting them. I'm just grabbing them by three oh, okay. and setting them down. Some of them are the same you sets. Like you can, you feel free to look through them and see what you think. Yeah, sure. Just want to make sure to kind of get each one on camera here. You know, I think this might be the stellar rust. That's cool looking. Oh, no, it's not. Is it? Oh, the basalt. Oh, there goes the light again. I'll be back. All right. I just found out that there's a light button. I don't have to open the garage door. I can just click the light button and it turns both lights on. Well, it turns this light on. The other light has a light switch. But anyways, Mo just pulled these two out, which are pretty neat. It's kind of a, what it is. But I'm going to look at it later. I like this one. That is cool. I like it how it has like some of that. cinnamon. Yeah, it does. The bottom's coming off. Just keep track of the bottom with it there. Make sure they stay together. The last one on this shelf. I think it's that same cinnamon one. I bet that one is allspice. You want to check the tag on it there? Just going to take these guys out. Oh, there's the cone. Yeah, I feel like this is supposed to melt a little bit more. But I do not know. I'll have to look at that later. All right, the final layer. It looks like one more of them did fall over, so a total of three. Let me check, make sure it didn't just fall over afterward. Actually, it looks like it may have just fallen over here in the process of taking things apart. That's encouraging, so I only had two that fell over and got stuck. Although it may have just been because it's, it's weird matte kind of glaze apparently this one is also huh that almost makes me concerned that down here didn't get hot enough or something no look at these ones are shiny i guess a couple of them down here no i don't know i mean they might just be matte glazes this one definitely i almost wonder i don't know if this didn't get this looks gorgeous though. hot enough here oh yeah that one's, that one's definitely fire but yeah, we'll check into these later, find out if whatever they are are just some sort of... 
Oh, you know what? They might be under glazes. I wonder if these are those two mystery ones that didn't have labels. I bet that's what they are. Is there a question mark on them? Oh, there's a question mark. <laughs> Let's check out this other one as well. I had two. Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. Question mark. Well, that answers that. Those weren't glazes. My bad. That's cool. I love how it gets toasty orange on the ends. See that? That's cool where it's thin. I really like that. Yeah, hold on to the piece itself. Well, we're going to find out what to do with these. They might be some sort of underglaze or low fire glaze. I have no idea. We're going to have to look into those. I'm definitely making more of these tiles for the... There was three blue glazes that I did not do because I did those mystery ones instead and I didn't have enough tiles. And I figured they were kind of a blue color. They turned out to be a purple and a blue. So... Yeah, this looks cool. like it's fully fired. So I figured, oh yeah, it's just those those ones are, were not supposed to be glazes, I guess. Yes. I don't know, but I want to find out. That's cool. The speckles are from the clay body, the speckle buff there. Yeah, it, doesn't look, it doesn't look like it's a clear, but... So anyways, I'm going to have there's three that I figured... The three blues that they I figured, oh, maybe they're the ones that were unlabeled, but nope, those weren't glazes. So now the three that I, the three glazes that I didn't do, I need to make nine more tiles and glaze those ones. Neat. This Look is at this really mess out here. Room. Look at all these. Let me see what you're looking at in a second. Oh, those must be the same one there. Those are pretty. And this is something else. Oh, this is yellow green or something. Let's see it. Oh, wow. I wonder what that is. A little bit too thick right there. That's really cool. Does it say? This might have been one that I... Oh, no, I see it there. It's... I'm trying to look too closely right now. And the final two. Now I get to go through all these and... Play with them. Write them all down or something. Put little labels on them. There they are. A little bit of a mess, but there's the whole kiln load on the floor. <laughs> we have our little boxy floor and then a piece of carpet that goes across the whole thing. All right, there it is. Thanks everyone for watching my kiln firing 000, kiln load 000. And stay tuned for 001 when I fire some of that herb glaze some of that stuff over there and fire it sometime soon. Have a great day. Keep looking this way and I realize I'm not really looking at the camera.